Five, four, three, two, hey. one. All right. So today we're at the second annual Black Arts and Film Festival. Last year we did the art festival here in, on the Deuces on the corner of 9th and 22nd. And today we're excited that the street is actually closed. And we have artists from Georgia. We, our featured artist in the gallery today is Gilbert Young. Uh, all the way from Georgia. We have folk artists, we have uh, jewelry artists, we have sculptors, and lots of paint painters. So it's a true black, uh, black arts festival and a fine arts festival with the lineup of artists we have uh, today. Fiber artists, uh, last night we had the opening for the event over at Studio 620 with a showing of a film called Dancing Like Home with uh, filmmaker Joyce Guy. She was in from California. We showed the film. We had a ta artist talk after the, uh, the film. And uh, now today, here we are on 22nd Street. Uh, who would have thunk it? Uh, the gallery is less than three years old. But um, I think this is a great way to create an impact. Uh, the purpose for doing this festival at all is actually to continue the work of exposing our community that's around, in and around the gallery area to art, to fine arts, making it a normal experience, an everyday experience. And so to do that, there's one thing to invite someone to come inside, but it's another thing to invite them to walk the streets right here outside. It's free, it's a free event. It was free for the artists to participate. And we're thankful and grateful for sponsors like our friends at uh, the Weekly Challenger. I mean, I was so touched when I saw the amount of promotion that was done. So if you saw the promotion, um, the, pr the promotion banner for this event, you'll see the Weekly Challenger on there because they never call to ask, they just do. So I value that a lot. Um, we've had good coverage from Bay News 9, which aired all morning um, today. We are thankful for the sponsorship from Studio at 620 and uh, folks like uh, the Chart 411 for Earth Day um, was a sponsor and just all of our other sponsors. This is phenomenal. I'm so excited about having um, ideas executed. How many people do you think have come out today? Gosh, a couple of hundred people. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and what's the difference from the first year to the second year? Um, well, two, two major key differences. The first year it was an art festival and it was contained in one area. Um, and this year it's an art and film festival because I feel that black filmmakers have some of the same challenges that black artists have in that they don't get as many opportunities to uh, showcase their work. So that's why film was added. I felt like in order for this to be a force to be reckoned with and for us to attract artists from all over the country we needed to move it into the streets and um, but it's vital that it's in the streets right here in our historic uh, significantly historic uh, 22nd Street yes you have artists here one in particularly that I spoke with was from uh, Rio de Janeiro yeah so yeah so we have um, I told somebody just now that we should almost call this the uh, International World Arts Festival because, um, you know, I myself am from South America, so I gravitate and I'm attracted to artists from all over the world. Um, in particular, certainly my family in Brazil, love, uh, love that family. And I'm looking up and down the street because in addition to just the artists, there's so much for kids to do. Uh, Keep St. Pete Lit donated books so kids were able to get free books today. As part of my initiative this entire year, kids were able to receive uh, Kwanzaa um, stickers, packet of Kwanzaa stickers. So we can, as a community, continue this cooperative economics philosophy. Kids were able to paint the bus, so, um, but right here on the street, walking distance from their homes. Anything you would like to add or um, you know, wishes for next year? Um, so, well, if we could ask the, um, the gods above for great weather again, um, <laughs> this is a phenomenal day. It's, uh, it's February, it's the end of February. We're in St. Petersburg, Florida, and all over the rest of the country, I'm sure they're not having as beautiful as day, a day as we're having. You know, it's rain-free, it's cloud-free, and people are just walking the street, um, enjoying and shopping. 